right, uh, welcome everyone to the latest demo for the Virtual Tribunal Sprint, or work cycle. Um, so we have, uh, we've been doing a lot of work on internationalization. Um, so though that development work is currently happening upstream in Spotlight. Uh, so you'll see I'm using our Spotlight demo app here. Um, so we have done significant work on the back end to enable storing translations with uh, the I-18 uh, active record gem. Um, so this now comes with Spotlight and user, this is an optional feature, so it, it's turned off by default. So users who are interested in enabling that uh, will need to uncomment this line. Um, so more information about that later. So we have the ability to store different translations and languages on the back end. And so we're uh, building out the interface uh, for curators to uh, control that. So this week, um, you'll see a new tab in the uh, exhibit uh, general configuration page. So we have this languages tab. Uh, so a curator can select a language uh, from the currently existing available uh, locales or yeah, uh, the def uh, existing locale files. Uh, so in this example, I can choose French, add this language, and it will appear in our list of current languages. Um, so. Uh, Curator can choose to publish one of these languages and make different views available in that locale. Um, so that's that. That's the beginning of our internationalization work. Um, we are currently working on the interfaces for inputting translations for different aspects of the site, whether that's. Um, uh, metadata labels, uh, exhibit pages, more exciting features coming soon. All right. Um, and I guess a quick note, we have also done, uh, create a, amazing. we have also done some work on the back end, changing our solar configuration to universal highlighter. Um, We'll have more examples of those changes soon, uh, but it uh, does result in some significant changes in how phrase searching works across lines or paragraphs. Um, and I think that is it for this week's demo.